Benny and Ben are access to capital. We started building up our R&D. Uh, we, we, uh, we put together the largest R&D effort for electric vehicles in the country. 350 people and almost 300 crores invested over the last five years in, in, building, this, in building the facility and the product. Up. We, built, we put up a factory. Uh, when we started, given that almost everybody in the company, I think the first 100, 150 employees were fresh college graduates, it seemed a little hard that out of India, not only would we build a product, but we would cross the chasm and actually go ahead and, and set up manufacturing, automotive manufacturing of that product. But we managed to do that. We, we bought really good, solid production people in our team. And we set up the production facility for the vehicle and the production facility for the first, uh, first ever DKMI battery manufacturing for an electric courier. Both the plants in Bangalore, uh, in Mighty. We launched two scooters, either 340 and 450, last year in Bangalore, to some incredibly strong response from the market and automotive reviewers. We also launched our charging network called Etherbread in Bangalore, 35 points present across Bangalore, all fast charging locations. We set up our first ever experience center. We, Ather has taken a different approach to selling vehicles. Instead of setting up dealerships across, across everywhere with very little experience or background, we are setting up unique experience stores where we have our own team, a team of a lot of engineers who can walk you through the product, who can walk you through the tiny details because the market needs a lot of education because the market needs that today. Right? When you buy electric, you want to have the comfort that the batteries are going to hold up. That's not going to have a problem in the water, that you know it can manage the kind of uh, grid fluctuations we have, that the life of the product is going to be long. So at our experience centers today, an average customer spends almost 45 minutes and, and, and that's all about discussing the product and the experience. Our experience center has been quite successful with today on an average week, it is drawing more than 600 people every week. Right? It, it, this place is right now more active than some of the retail joints on that street. Uh, and we are doubling down on that concept in Bangalore, right in Chennai, we'll speak about it later. But more importantly, along the way, we started living the vehicle in a big way this early this year. We've been getting a lot of owners, and some of these owners have been extremely, extremely supportive. Uh, they've built a community around our product. Uh, it's almost, uh, it, it's an online community which is very strong. These guys have been doing meetups together, they have been doing holdups, uh, they've been doing act designing accessories, and they've been some of our biggest supporters till date. So, five years in, we built all of this, and now we're back to Chennai for our product launch here. What does the company look like? It looks a little different. We are no longer 8-ish people, we are now 650 plus uh, team members. We have built up a whole bunch of facilities from the R&D center, the manufacturing facilities and the experience center. We have launched two products and a charging infrastructure. We have uh, built up a strong patent portfolio with 51 patents, uh, for, uh, some of them filed internationally now. And we have been lucky enough to have some really strong investors in Hero Motor Corp, Tiger Global, Sachin Universal, who have invested almost $100 million over these five years, allowing us to fund this kind of an R&D effort and launch these kind of products. Um, the batteries, these are actually one of the secret sauce of what allows us to deliver phenomenal performance. The batteries are designed and manufactured in-house by Aether, uh, and they allow us to offer an extremely predictable range. And what I mean by that is, these are the numbers that um, that we that ARI claims for us, right? A certified range of the Aether 450 is 107 kilometers. However, we have done a lot of testing on road, and the range that we promised our customers is 65 kilometers in the right mode. What that means is that uh, we have done a lot of testing, and we know what our batteries can perform, uh, and we commit to that number. We call this concept as true range, a range that we believe that you will always get on the road. Instead of promising a number, uh, like the mileage is approved. Today, if you hear 15 kilometers per liter mileage, you are mentally adding. Uh, 15 kilometers per liter is if you're going on a straight road with nobody in the car on a best possible day with a very active driver, right? But on the highway or in the city, in traffic conditions, that number is more like 10 or 12, right? That's not going to be the case with either 450. And proof of that, while we promise a range of 65 kilometers, the average range of our product on the road today is 69 kilometers. Which means an average customer is already getting 69, with a lot of customers getting way more than 69 kilometers. The average distance traveled is 17 kilometers per day, and 90% of the trips that are happening in Bangalore are less than 34 kilometers. What that means is that the range of the 8450 
is not only acceptable, it is good enough for several days worth of usage. And when I say that the average 69 customers are doing more, here is an incredible data point. One of our owner, one of our 850 owners has done 110 kilometers of driving on a single charge over four and a half hours of driving uh, using only 90% charge. Which means this customer got almost 120 kilometers of range on a single charge and he's not alone. If you go and check our online community, you will see many, many such people who are getting almost double the range that Ether promises. Right? So we're setting a new benchmark of how do you discuss range and mileage numbers. In which you can throttle back and the vehicle starts pulling back. It pulls back at the reduced speed of 2 kilometers per hour. However, in the reverse mode, it has the entire torque of 20 newton meter available to you. What that means is, when you park your vehicle on a side of the road, or in a ditch, or on the mud, and you've got vehicles all around you, you can pull the vehicle back very, very confidently. A lot of people otherwise are forced to ask people to help them pull the vehicle back. It's very inconvenient, it's painful. One of the pain points of using a two meter, you don't need to do that with the 450. You've got a reverse mode on the vehicle. <coughs> Another uh, extremely useful feature today that we have is our onboard navigation. So the vehicle has a 7 inch touch screen built into the handlebar itself. It's not a tablet, it's a complete computer built into the handlebar. Uh, it has a gigahertz processor, it's a touch screen, it's, it's, it's got a 3G SIM card and a GPS, everything on the dashboard. And from there, powered by Google, you can use navigation from the vehicle. So this is a feature that's, that's again very unique and this is a feature that's not just unique in India, it's actually the first of its kind built anywhere globally. So the dashboard capability starting from navigation that interest today built are some of the most advanced features built on any to be globally built. The vehicle with that kind of a GPS, it has a 3G SIM card and with the entire connectivity obviously comes with the mobile app. So this is how the mobile app looks like. You can track the vehicle, you can see when the vehicle is getting charged, you can track the vehicle, uh, vehicle's GPS location, you can find the nearest charging stations distributed throughout the city. And for those of you who really want to go and understand about your riding patterns better, you can e we have even have a ride statistics section. What this allows you to do, it allows you to see every single ride in extreme detail, right? Where you started, where you ended, what kind of an epic average speed you had, what kind of a mileage did you achieve, and hence helps you understand what kind of a driver you are better and better. Building up on charging points. Uh, charging infrastructure has been a big focus for us at Ether. We in fact have a separate brand going for it called Ether Grid. And we believe that it is important that you put up charging points even before a vehicle is sold. Uh, so let's talk about what your charging experience typically will look like. When you use a petrol scooter today, this is what your daily user is like. You will go to a petrol station every third or fourth day. You will fill up 100 to 100 rupees worth of petrol and then you will continue riding. And we all believe that is so convenient. Uh, but electric is so inconvenient because you have to charge the vehicle. But somehow you are forgetting. That is not a very easy use case. You have to actually go out of your way, stop at a petrol station every third day, spend 100, 100 to 200 rupees, wait for 5 minutes, get the petrol and then be on your way. Imagine if you have to do that with your mobile phones. Imagine if every third day you have to go somewhere, stop for 2-3 minutes, get a full mobile charge done and then go uh, on to your daily mobile. Right? You cannot imagine that because now we are all used to just using overnight charging. We come back home, we plug our mobile phones onto a full charge and you are good to go when you wake up in the morning. That's exactly the kind of user behavior, that's exactly the kind of daily usage we are trying to create with Ether 450. When you buy the product, we don't just set up charging for the final confirmation from the GST council. But the, we are waiting for this clarity, but once we have the clarity, the price will come. Uh, there is another benefit that customers will be able to take the vehicle on EMI. Uh, so should it? And over these kind of stalls, our owners hold up. It was our owners who were selling this concept to us. Who built the product, launched it in here and... So we did this here. These guys did the test. So the change was on the If your society doesn't put a 3-pin plug, then this is a daily really extension of that. It's a Let's one say, box that will go right next to a 3-pin plug, you're completely sold. Just in case you have an issue there, uh, if you just have a 3-pin plug and for some reason you can't put the, uh, the charging point up, then there is a charging cable that comes with it as an accessory, so you can just use a 3-pin plug and charge your vehicle as well. Okay.
Okay, it's kind of a laptop charger that you can plug. Yes. yes. So that is available as an accessory. You can carry that around with you. So you can, if you have any three amps, any five amp socket, you can charge your vehicle. Thank you. What are the other colors you have? What do you have only white color? Uh, right. So we have a lot of colors, uh, namely white and white. And, and one other white color. Yeah. So, uh, how would you say expand that answer? Um, we, we started off with white. We're keeping our operations pretty simple. Uh, one we have to produce, one we have to manage. Um, as we uh, as we open up more cities, we will look at producing more color options, but not this year. We are looking at them for next year. Do you have any plans to open manufacturing sites in Let me use a mic. Yeah. Sorry. Can you just take his question? Let's, let's going to be at your doorstep, which is which is explanation through the app itself. So take clicks on the app and you fix your service and become your doorstep. In case there is a um, in case there is requirement that cannot be met at your doorstep, so suppose they need to do something deeper, then we take the vehicle back with us, service and give it back to you. And depending on the situation, we, we just might be able to give you a loaner vehicle as well, but that's not a commitment at this point in time. So if you want to deliver that experience, it's very difficult to do it with third party providers, right? Because this is a very tagging integrated solution. Also, in many cases, when we do servicing, uh, before we actually get to your location, our preemptive diagnostics and remote diagnostics uh, through software that runs protocol already knows what's going on there. So it's a very sort of nice uh, integrated solution that we have, which is difficult, difficult to pull off the third-party provider. Also, uh, just one. Sorry. We can usually, we usually have to get them. So we have, a, if you see, if you schedule maintenance, then it's it's a time that you decide, right? So. If, yeah, if it's a if it's a uh, roadside assistance where there is unfortunate breakdown, then we have an SLA of forty minutes to one hour, so we will show up there. So we'll Which is still faster than you taking some into conversation. Okay. Secondly, three years unlimited, three years thirty thousand kilometers warranty. However, on the battery alone, we are going out of our way, and we have announced a three years unlimited kilometers warranty. What we have seen in our testing, uh, up to fifty thousand kilometers, the battery packs are completely fine. There is barely 15-20% loss of energy, otherwise they are completely fine. And 50,000 kilometers is for most average customers between 6 to 8 years of usage. Right? So that's what we have seen in our on-road testing, which is why we are announcing an unlimited kilometers warranty on the battery pack. Realistically, you will not need to replace your battery pack for at least 6 years. So why are you looking at the uh, battery swapping? Uh, that is why we don't do battery swapping? Yeah. So it adds a lot of cost. That's the problem of battery swapping for, for a consumer. Uh, for a delivery vehicle or for a, a bike taxi, uh, battery swap has a role to play because it cuts down on that one hour of charging required if you do more than 70 kilometers a day. Right? But for an average customer, he's not going to do more than 70 kilometers of driving distance in a day. Um, you're not going to buy an electric vehicle unless you have a charging point at home. If you have a charging point at home, you will just charge every day at home, in which case you don't need a swapping on a regular basis. Then swapping is more of an emergency requirement. And the cost of setting up that infrastructure is about almost 50 times higher than setting up charging infrastructure. So it adds a lot of cost. Uh, in most business models, we'll have to charge you 1,000 rupees extra per month for the convenience of a swap. Why not removable batteries that you can just carry up to your house? Well, here is some numbers for that. A vehicle like this will have a battery which weighs 18 kilograms. I don't think you want to, even if, I, even if you break this down to two batteries, even then, I don't think you want to carry 9 kgs worth of battery every day to your house. Um, so we, we experimented with it, but we realized that most people don't actually use that. And if you make it removable, it adds a lot of cost on the vehicle structure. Because now you will need gold plated connections, and those connections will wear out much faster. You will have waterproofing problems, environmental issues. You will not connect them well, and then you will drive them on the road, and something will break. So reliability takes a I think at this point we should really be setting up an exchange offer. So we'll see the thing else. Since the rate is very costly, do you have any health protection facility? It's very hard to see this product because uh, I tell you why. Uh, because uh, the, the, the dashboard has a GPS and a GSM embedded inside it. And unlike uh, something, this is not a strap on solution. So it's not like it's a petrol scooter. We've just put a module here, which is a GPS GSM module. If you cut the cable here and short the cable, the vehicle will still run. No, the vehicle won't run. If, if you decide to take the GPS, like let's say you decide to destroy the entire handlebar to steal the vehicle, right? Let's say, hypothetically, right? Your vehicle will actually stop running. 
like until the battery gets the CAN message, which is end-to-end -end encrypted from the dashboard, uh, and it's all tightly integrated into the handlebar, the vehicle won't start. Uh, and hence, that means if you don't destroy the entire handlebar, you if you steal the vehicle, let's say the vehicle has a key, by the way. So let's say you steal the key and decide to take the vehicle out, and you are the uh, and let's say he's the buyer, he's the owner of the vehicle. He can just give Ether a call, say please track my vehicle. It is very, very, very hard to steal the vehicle. Okay. Uh, so theft protection is, is deeply embedded. We're also thinking of some upgrades uh, on accident detection, uh, which we'll push out in the next one.